Babe, can you climb your entire body in there?
not surprisingly spent a lot of today mushroom foraging again and found a couple of really nice velvet top aka admiral aka braggers boletus braggers bolete admirable bolete look at how velvety that top is and look on the inside no worms this one's in pristine condition they were growing like this off the trees As you can see right now, I got the uh, little 100 watt panel down there just for the kitchen light batteries. That one's called the Rock Pals battery. And the three big ones, two of them charging the, two of the big ones just going directly into the Blue Eddy AC200. Right now with the sun hitting them, they're pulling 393 watts. Much faster than a wall socket. And then the top battery here, also a 275 watt and that one battery I set inside the cab here, and it's the Bluetti EB240. And the EB240 is a massive battery, holds a lot of energy, and it's going at, it'll go up to 250 watts if the sun is fully direct, but a little cloud going across, so you can see how the cloud is messing with the wattage, but it's climbing, there we go. So I've got the old logging road out here, and the truck just, uh, sitting on the road and I can then pull it forward a few feet in the sun here, a few feet back there, and uh, it's getting all the energy that Nicole and I need for what we do in the yurt. But honestly, those two batteries, the Bluetti AC200 and the EB240 have been uh, a godsend. They've been a really amazing way that we can harness and gather all this sun energy. Puma likes it too, right bro? the most watts I've seen going in here so far. That was 405. Did you see it? <laughs> a little cloud getting in the way, but that was a lot. Charging fast today. Time to rack these bricks.
Oh, this is not appropriate for you too. <laughs> I can't even tell you how challenging this is in the rain. Just my fingers are just falling apart. Just little winds. <laughs> Check this out. This is coming together nice, but I'm kind of baffled by this section here and how to connect it seamlessly so that it's brick on brick and we'll take the heat. And uh, I came up with this. This is like no playbook for this, it's all art. You can watch a million people do this and they all do it differently. It's like a piece of art. So there's my piece of art. <laughs> I cut this slant off of it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put this right here and I cut that on a slant right here. And that plugs in right there, then that butts in pretty tight. And then when I put this on there, oh my God, I can't tell you how happy these joints right here make me. This is fun, but this is tedious and challenging. I got a smile on my face, but my soul is crying. <laughs> final two pieces like my back I think I'm going from 6'2 to like 5'8 right now my height <laughs> it's just tough I can't go like this yeah we're almost done what do you think can you see it now yeah yeah <laughs> all right one more piece let's see <sighs> All right, this is the big moment. The last one is going in. How happy are you? Uh, <laughs> my back is too sore to be happy. I'm gonna be happy that you're not bored because uh, really Nicole's been the trooper letting me do this. Um, Cause it's like a one man job. Yeah, plus it's like my first ever I mean, I've mortared and bricked a lot of things and never a, a pizza oven, so... You ever seen a pro do like mortar and block and brick? They're so good. Mm. Well, the best part is coming up, and that's gonna be Cobb! <laughs> Next step. Next step. Yay. There's another step.
Ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I love how you dump them with attitude and then <laughs> and then move them nicely. Nicole's so organized and she has to. <clears throat> it's uh, not that cold today. So... But I'm gonna leave my beanie on at that school. So we're doing a Komorebi blend of sand and clay, but uh, more clay or more sand? More sand. Let's feel it, find out. Okay. God, I got you a little bucket. Ready? This is like really nice, fine sand with shells mixed in. Rest pocket. Okay. Ready? 
we're supposed to mix it dry, but the sand is kind of wet. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, it rains here sometimes. It rains here? Yeah. What? So how do we do like that? And then get your nice looking feet in there and we'll mix it up. Ooh. Just like uh, the dough for bowds, the same thing. But you don't use your feet. We can't use our feet for the... We're not supposed to use our feet for the bowza dough. I've been doing that. Every bowza you've eaten has been foot bowza. Have some more in there. Let's, uh... Why are we doing this with our feet? Because <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Ooh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. I think you really enjoy this. This is awesome. I feel like a kid. <laughs> okay, go for it. Let's go. Mix it. Don't touch. <laughs> what are we looking for? What kind of consistency? Um, like a paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to hold a snowball. Yeah. But be tough to separate, but then also not turn back into a flat disc. I think we need more clay. See if it makes a ball. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so sticky. I couldn't even pull it off of there. Try it. Pull it on. So it's supposed to like make a ball, and if we do that, it doesn't go flat again. That was weird. Do you see that? I don't even know if the camera can see that. A raindrop just like hit it. Right on your... That was crazy. <laughs> that is... That's a look. Wait. Hold, hold still a second. Ow! What? That, that hurt. <laughs> My feet are really cold. You know like the movie The Incredibles? When Mr. Incredible's running? And syndrome has all those balls. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Those black balls. That's what it's like. <laughs> it's like that's my weapon. No. <laughs> some people have kicks. Some have punches. I have big balls of cob. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Okay, Maybe we can pick this up onto there. Go for it. Baseball bat and you go like this. <laughs> Looks 
good. Yeah. How does it feel? I think it's about ready. I mean, on your feet. A little bit more. Oh, it feels, feels good. Feels good. Staying in a ball. And then what happens if you tear it in half? Sticky? Yeah. Because it should be sticky? Yep. when it goes in the cob. Oh, it's so strong. I can't believe it. You want to start in the corner? Uh, sure. Then we're going to like hold it together and we can like press it. Okay, let's just put one shape. more there. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so just show me how we'll to just, do it. We'll just press them out to join them because we only want I mean honestly we only want a two to three inch layer this is for insulation so that's it we just really want it stuck to the Like in this song, we can do this. How's it feel up there? I mean, the mortar feels real strong, like super finished. It's been like for the very top 5%, it's been three days, four days. But for the bottom 97%, it's been over a week. Okay, let's crack this baby open. But <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> well, what we're gonna see is a moment of truth. This is, this is the oven. We're gonna open this door, take the sand out, and it's the oven. And light the first fire. Yeah. We started this cob yesterday, but it feels like it hasn't dried at all. Mm -hmm. So I think these curing fires will not just help the mortar and brick expel moisture, but they're also gonna help bring a little bit of drying out to, cause people have seen like, it's so wet here, so wet. There's no way this cob's gonna dry without these curing fires. Okay. Okay, I gotta take the door off without cracking my arch. That's you, you got it. All right. All right. What kind of dance is that? The getting warmed up dance. It's supposed to be negative three in two days from now. Celsius. Celsius. All right, let's do it. Let me get my. Uh... Come on, Mace. <laughs> like Jenga. Good. <laughs> like Jenga. Wait, wait, don't pull the door. Cool. Yay! What was that? Oh, 
was the purpose of the, uh, the newspaper? To know when you reach the top and to not get sand stuck to the brick. Almost done. Yep. It looks so good in there. Hello. <laughs> Is anybody home? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. That. That's okay. I know. Babe, can you climb your entire body in there? <laughs> It's a hole. It didn't collapse on itself, so that's good. You did really good. Thanks. It's very nice. What do you think of the space as far as size goes? I think it's perfect. I mean, you could fit a couple pizzas in there, a pie, some cookies. Yeah. Um, food. You ready to cook right now or what? <laughs> no, so we have to light our first fire because we still have like tons of cob to put over this and like insulation and stuff. External bricks. Yeah, so we're doing our first fire. It's going to be a really, really small fire just to kind of dry things out dry things out, and evaporate the water is what they said, right? Because it rains here. People didn't already realize Yeah, that. so it's going to be a really small fire just for like an hour and then pull it out. And then tomorrow we keep putting cob on it. And the next day we keep putting cob on it. And then we keep lighting fires and until it's like eventually really big and then we can cook in it. Like a week of curing fires. Yeah, so we're close. <laughs> Seems so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Wow, you're a good model there for this thing. And Bob over here in this corner. Just kidding. And coming up, we're putting the flue right here, the chimney on the external brick. So for now, the smoke will just come out here if that's okay with you. No, it's fine. This will all be covered up though. I know. That works pretty good. Yeah. All right. Cheers to our first fire. I know we can't cook with it yet, but. <laughs> it's officially going. Yay. 
We've been saving this for so long too. One of our Patreon members or YouTube fans sent this to our PO box. Yeah, thank you. So now we get to actually use it. Laser uh, thermometer, digital thermometer reader. What does the actual fire read? The fire reads... Like all over the map, 900 degrees. Yeah, like 800 degrees is what it's saying. What if you crouch down and hit the dome, the top? Uh, it's saying like 10. 1, 10, 130. 130 right now? But the highest I've seen it go is 137 Fahrenheit. How about the side? We have 64. Cool. 68. Nice. Ooh. We're actually going to use this fancy thing. It's cool. <laughs> All right. Cheers to the bread and pizzas to come. Yes. And for those people out there watching, uh, we have a lot more to do.